Some of you guys on Instagram have asked me to make more thrifting videos. I think I've only done one video specifically on thrifting and you can watch that on my channel. It's back when I had different camera quality. It was on thrifting my kids Christmas gifts. I guess this is still a very relevant topic because a lot of us stay at home moms are living on one income and we're trying to be good stewards of our money. You know, it's better for our wallets. It's better for the planet to just buy second hand. I want the moon, the moon, the And it makes staying home with your kids more possible instead of just buying everything brand new. Some of you guys know that I'm pregnant with my fourth child. Every child I've given birth to so far has been a girl, which I am thrilled about. I don't mind having a little herd of girls. It's pretty fun having all the pink and dresses and girly things, but having a boy, I don't feel it's appropriate for him to wear their little princess dresses and their pink shoes. Ow! I have some pieces from my girls that are gender neutral, like tennis shoes and white shirts and plain jeans, but a lot of their clothes are very, very, very feminine and girly. So I thought I better get this poor boy a nice manly wardrobe. Also, dad is very particular about what this baby is going to wear. So I tried to pick things that he would pick and you'd wear. I mostly succeeded. I hope, I hope you enjoy this little quick montage, having some fun finding my son's clothes at the thrift store. And now we're off to the secondhand lands, also known as Goodwill. There's a lot of things you could buy, so many things, but should you? That's what we're here to find out. For example, this dresser. It looks like it could be cool, but up close, somebody tried to paint it themselves. So, nice job. How many dollar dollar bills do they want for this thing? Oh look, kissing children. So now we're actually shopping for what we really should be shopping for, which is baby clothes. The good thing about Goodwill, at least in my area, is onesies or one pieces for infants always are 99 cents. I really like vintage stuff, but this is a little too Ronald McDonald for me. I don't know about you, I, I can't do it. Also, another thing is I just don't like cheesy prints. You know what I mean? Little monsters, overly cartoony trucks. Something simple like this would be better. Okay, so I know I'm not having a girl this time, I know. But I keep running into little vintage pieces like this and I think some little girl should have them. Maybe somebody's gonna have a baby girl shower, I don't know. This Laura Ashley vintage piece, so cute. I did score this cute little blazer because my little man is going to need some church clothes. So that's going in the basket. Also the fun thing about Goodwill is sometimes they have vintage or antique pieces. And if you're in an area where there's not a ton of antique malls, sometimes they don't know what they have. Me awkwardly posing in a smudgy mirror. You're welcome. I did manage to find these too. So cute, these kind of linen pants. And guys, this hot chili pepper shirt, so cute, so Texan. And that's about all I'm gonna show you. So we're just gonna watch this choo-choo train which we happened to get stuck behind on our way home. The kids loved it, I was a little bored. Now let's talk about a bunch of this stuff that I found. I'm just going to show you kind of collages of it because who's got time for me to go through every single piece? I think I bought close to 80 pieces all together from all my shopping trips. So yeah, ain't nobody got time to see every one of those. So I'll just show you some of my highlights. Our baby boy is going to be born in the fall. So he needs plenty of cozy pajamas, jackets. Now what he doesn't actually need is this little vintage baby gown but I need him to need it, so we got it. I got him clothes anywhere from newborn to a year old. I love overalls. I have some for myself. I have some for my girls. They're just very convenient one pieces. Now you can see I still didn't pick a whole lot of prints. I picked stuff that I thought would be a little cute, except for some of these. There's some prints here. I love the little bears. 
I love the, the shoulder detailing because I think they look masculine. It just seems like things my husband would already wear and so he tends to be a little picky as to what his little man's gonna be wearing. He kind of called me out for getting so many stripes. Sorry, do pinstripes count though? I don't think so. Seriously, check out some of these pajamas. Hopefully I'm getting exactly what he needs, but I couldn't resist this little sweater. This is one of the first things I bought before I even knew I was having a boy. This pineapple shirt totally looks like something his dad would wear. Some more pinstripe shorts and, and unfortunately lots of stripey stripey pajamas, which his daddy is not a fan of. But you know what? They were lightly used and he's gonna sleep in them. He's not leaving the house hopefully in them. I don't get a lot of graphic tees, but I had to get this one because I'm hoping this baby is gonna be a copy of his dad. I'm not gonna show all the shoes I got because I did get a ridiculous amount of boy shoes, but these baby boy shoes, oh my goodness, y'all. And these sandals, I haven't decided if these looked a little too girly or not. I don't know, you let me know in the comments down below. Here's one outfit I put together. I'm so excited about this little jumper, this newborn jumper. Maybe this is what he will come home in. The yellow is adorable, the fabric is soft, and I love anything cotton because it tends to last from baby to baby as opposed to something with stretch knit. Here's another outfit that I put together. These gray loafers and brown pants and this adorable sweater. Also, these little boots, again, so cute. With the overalls, I paired the vintage shirt, blouse, dress thingy. Maybe it's a little sissy. Maybe it's, maybe it's just sweet enough. You know what I mean? The embroidery is great. Seriously, check out the embroidery. Handmade from where? I don't know, but it's handmade from somewhere. And it's imported. And this really sweet, basic little onesie. Oh my goodness. I just cannot wait for this baby. I also happen to find this wooden fire truck. Really excited for this one. It's gonna be a decoration in his bedroom, but when he gets a little bigger, he could also play with it. Unfortunately, his sisters want to play with it now, so we've gotta watch ourselves and hide this thing pretty well. Also got a basket to store his blankets or maybe a diaper caddy. I haven't determined yet but I feel like it'll go with the sort of wood vintage theme. For his wall, I got these balloon picture things. I feel like they're gorgeous and they'll go very well in his room. His changing table is light blue and this is kind of a blue green and I think they go together pretty well with the gold detailing. I love the star matting. I think that's what makes these super unique along with these images here of these hot air balloons. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of these highlights of the baby boy clothes that I have found. I had a lot of fun shopping for him and I hope this encourages you to just get out there and second hand for your kids and yourself. There's so many things that, that we could be buying second hand and from thrift stores that would benefit our wallet, especially in this time of inflation where gasoline costs us both our arms and soon both our legs. Have a good day. I'm rooting for you. And your wallet. <laughs>